go, guys. No way no more if you can hear me. Uh, today we're going to be checking out a DMAG train that has an issue. I apologize, that was going to. That has an issue with the. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry. It has an issue with the limit switch for down function. And I'll show you what I did last week. Uh, brightening up this a little bit. Okay. Basically, the unit was cutting out over and over and over again. First speed up and down for safety reasons. And you had a down limit, you got the up limit. Most of them are basically the same. Uh, a lot of people did just actually change the whole um, switch out. But once you change the switch out, you have these little dials right here that you have to reset the new one. This hardly ever goes bad, there's a teeth on it. No, it hardly ever goes bad. So, my conclusion to this was just basically change out the switch that's going bad, but because you can actually see a flash right here behind this white cover. And I tested the switch and the switch was not get the continuity. And the crane is off, make sure the crane is off. Um, most of the time, the technician and electrician we have to work on live circuits to see what the problem is. And that's what was uh, 500 volts. Most of the time, you have a boy to pull your whole crane. But the city is actually pumping out, you know, 500, 501, 502. So it varies as long as you get the same or about the same on all three legs. Some of these places have a high leg on, I think maybe L2. It depends on how they hook it up and, you know, stuff like that. So this is the new switch. Both switches are basically the same as you can see really no difference sometimes it can be an open normally open and normally closed contact it depends on the application so we 
we're going to configure this and put it back in like so and there's a little bump behind here that it, it basically just touches now we have the crane in the all the way up position for the, the uh, block put this in here like this and on, if you can see these all three of these will be actually on the right hand side of the switch the right hand side of the switch we're going to take this screw and put it in there and get it snug not too tight because you're screwing in the plastic be real careful about doing that part. Well, this switch would not be any good if you, if you break it. When you break the housing. So make sure when the thing is Yep. Trying to keep it steady. Camera. As you can see there are fuses and Reversing contactor. This one, high speed contact. This one for high speed up and high speed down. And low limiter here. And another contactor here. But right now we're working on this little baby right here. Like I said, it's already adjusted for where they want it in a down position. So the only thing we had to do today is change that one switch out instead of changing the whole freaking limit switch. Let's get out of that habit of changing the whole limit switch. Change what needs to be changed only. So this was the jumper here. Uh, just to test it to make sure it went up and down properly and it was going up and down without any issues with this jumper in here so that just told me that the switch was going bad. Now we're going to put the other screw in at the bottom and lock it down totally. Make sure you don't lose the switch because it's a long way down. I mean not the switch, it's for about the Make sure it's in there nice and snug. Remember, going in the plastic, so just be careful. Now, okay, these two particular wires, uh, 29 and 28, it doesn't matter if it goes on the top or the bottom. It's just making a contact in the, uh, in the top or the bottom, directly in the middle. So it don't matter which way you go. Uh, just try to put it back the way it's shown on the diagram. What's the matter if you have one? Just gonna loosen that. Sometimes it's better to tin the wires so they won't be all flaky and going all over the place when you make your connection. If I had time, I would have did that because I actually have my equipment with me to do that, but not today. Just gonna make sure it's nice and snug on both top and bottom. I'm gonna push your wires on the end. Make it sharp as possible and put it in. And tighten it down. Just remember I caught this because it was actually flashing back and it was making the contact the dance. Like rah, rah, which is bad on the contact, especially the second speed contact. And you got, like I said, you got the first speed up and down, and then you got your um, upper limit, put on 25 and 26. Then you got 28, 29 here, and then you got 210, which is for a different speed. And that's directly in the middle, but we didn't have any issues with those. Right now, the position is normally closed or closed in the closed position. Uh, the reason I say that is because 
pattern this back up um, because this little button here right there is pushed in so that means that this and this are actually making contact now this is one circuit and that one is pushed out so that means that one is not doing anything and this one all the way up in here is actually in so it's making contact too and as you go up and down these dials move as you go up and down and it has just a little full come inside of it that hits the switch to tell the switch to either um, to tell the, the crane to stop or start or something's wrong but with these switches in it should stop at a certain limit at the floor and in the up it should stop at a certain distance which is right about here once it goes up in fast speed it'll actually slow down in crate mode which is 210 here and then once it disengages which it is the crane will stop so you won't actually two block the crane so that's where we are right now so we actually finished with this job and we just had to wait a few days for the part to come in but on these D-Mag cranes which all of them have these right here some of them are different like I said it's supposed to have a housing and digits um, analog digits going this way but I broke it <laughs> in Atlanta when I dropped my two bucks 50 feet to his death so we'll be ordering that uh, I don't remember how many what, what numbers it read but we hardly ever read that number but it was a lot so we're actually done with this one and I'm going to test it and make sure it works. Okay, I've made the adjustments for this. So both of them actually stop in the same place up when it gets up. It actually goes into first speed so it doesn't too block. And I think that should do it. Can't think of anything else, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to run it up and down. So you can see it. Thank you. Here we go. So we're gonna take it. And we're just gonna go down. Just just one crank. Uh, hoist. Hey, we're gonna go down. Right now it's in the first speed mode because of the distance that it is to the actual drone. And then that's second speed going down. Get it out of that limit going fine. Uh, before it was chittering and chattering and uh, worked sometimes and sometimes it didn't. They don't need that for what they be picking up in this facility. So we're going to run it back up. Probably need another switch. Something where I think is because it's in that limit, it'll get it to do that. Yeah, I think we're gonna need to change another switch. I think I got two and one is on back order. Uh, we're still doing it just a hair, but it's not stopping. So we're gonna take a break. Um, I'm gonna pop this cover back open here and change out the uh, upper switch as well. And like I said, we got one on backwater. Thank you. Okay, this is switch number two. So I'm changing that. And I'm going out of here. Working in a minute on this rail. We've got to go for a while. This is after 210 uh, for anybody that's working on these big mags and they need to change out something on the limit switch is 210. And it's pretty much the same um, on any D mag that you come across the numbers are basically the same. And I like that about D mag. They keep it simple. Yeah, 
that switch in the big part of the lab. It really doesn't do a whole lot of work. Let's put the fulcrum inside the dial. test it again. Okay, boys and girls, uh, just ran into another problem, which is normally the case. Uh, on Friday, 